teach yoga is also part of the reason of why I practice. So when I first came to my mat, I found it for physical reasons. I wanted to keep going with my strength and get more flexible within my body. And what I was realizing that as that was happening over time, I was also feeling just more clear within my own mind and focus. And several months later, I realized that I wanted more people to have access to this practice and what I was getting to. So it just kind of clicked for me that I realized, wow, I want to really bring this to other people. And the way to do that was to start to teach. And when I started to teach, it just became a passion for me. Just this passion about not only people finding themselves in a physical level, but finding themselves on their mat and getting more confident and loving who they are. And that's what I feel like yoga brings, not just to me now, but to so many people that I see, is that they get this experience when they're on the mat, and then they take that experience and it shows up in their everyday life. So on their mat, you come on to, to the mat and you might look around and you're in class and you see all these people in this funky posture, on their hands or upside down or twisted like a pretzel. And in time or in that moment, it looks like it's not possible. And that's not what the point of yoga is either, is to make yourself like a pretzel or get the cover of a magazine. That's just all kind of the fun part. But the real heart of the yoga is what you get personally from all of that. So physically, when you start to strengthen your own body and get more flexible within your own body, you start to strengthen your own mindset of who you are and also get more flexible in your way of thinking and your way of being with